today's video is divided into three small parts. First we are going to talk about vitamins for boosting memory. Then we are going to take a look at some foods that boost memory and focus. And lastly, I'm going to give you a couple of practical tips and exercises that will significantly build up and improve your memory, concentration and focus. Hey, it's Scandinavian Bob here. If you'd like to become a warrior in your own life by crushing anxiety, learning smart self-improvement tips, interesting mental tricks and cool biological hacks, then hit the subscribe button right now and let's start with today's video. Vitamins for boosting memory. Vitamin D. Vitamin D is incredibly important for your memory. Did you know that there is a wide distribution of vitamin D receptors in your head? And many of them are directly involved with forming memories. The best way to get vitamin D is of course being outside so you get plenty of sunshine. And if that's not possible, like sometimes in the winter time, then supplementing with a good vitamin D supplement is not a bad idea. That is exactly what I personally do as it gets very dark and cold up here in Scandinavia in the winter time. Then we have vitamin B12. This is also one of the best vitamins for memory. Or that's perhaps a bad way to put it. Let's instead say that it's crucial if you want to take care of your memory. Several studies have shown how vitamin B12 can boost your memory and what's even more important, B12 also helps protect against dementia and Alzheimer's. In fact, having a vitamin B12 deficiency can actually mimic dementia. Yep. So if you have a family history of dementia or Alzheimer's, then please make sure to get enough vitamin B and especially vitamin B12. The next one isn't really a vitamin, but many people mistakenly call it a vitamin. Anyway, it's omega-3 fatty acids. Omega-3 fats such as DHA is anti-inflammatory and it also seems to improve blood flow in your brain. A truly great combination there. DHA is also the main building block for the brain. So that should tell us something right there. A deficiency in DHA has been linked to mood disorders, depression, anxiety and memory problems. So make sure to eat foods high in omega-3 fatty acids and or take a high quality omega-3 supplement. And speaking of foods, let's move on to the next part of this video. Foods for boosting memory. Blueberries. A study from Harvard researchers shows how eating blueberries could be a safe way to protect against cognitive decline and memory loss that comes with aging. The good stuff in blueberries are the polyphenolic compounds, most prominently anthocyanins, which have antioxidant and anti-inflammatory effects and the anthocyanins have been associated with increased neuronal signaling and thereby boosting memory function as well as protect against neurodegeneration. Pumpkin seeds. Now pumpkin seeds also contain very powerful antioxidants that protect the body and brain from free radical damage. They are also an excellent source of magnesium, iron, zinc and copper. So this in combination with the super healthy omega-3 fatty acids makes them a super food for the brain. The next one is apples. As we age our neurotransmitters tend to decline. Apples contain something called choline, which will help protect against that slow decline. And research has found that choline will also directly, right away, improve your memory and focus. Those are some good foods for improving your memory. And while we are on the subject of eating, here's another bonus tip for you. Intermittent fasting will improve your memory as well. This is because intermittent fasting increases something called BDNF brain-derived nootropic factor. Now BDNF is a protein that acts on neurons, helping to support the survival of existing neurons. And, listen to this, it encourages the growth of new neurons and synapses. So while the foods I mentioned are good for the brain, you don't have to be eating all of the time. Take a few days every now and then, where you go for about 14 to 20 hours without consuming any calories at all. Personally, I do this a couple of times a week and honestly, I do feel much sharper on the days I'm fasting. Okay, so here are some practical things you can do for boosting memory and concentration power. A fun little memory game I personally do almost always when I'm driving is that I start to think of certain words and try to spell them backwards in my head without writing them down. Well, of course, I'm, I'm driving so I can't write them down. 
And this is a great exercise for improving your memory and brain power. The longer the word, the more short-term memory power you need. And I have to admit, I really start to struggle when the word get up to seven letters long. But I'm getting better at it. Another game you can do to improve your brain is closing your eyes in your apartment or house and walk around for a few minutes, using your brain to try to tell you where the furniture and all the objects are. This will challenge your brain in a way it's not used to. And according to the memory expert Ron White, it is more effective than we would think. And he also points out that challenging your brain with new things where you use several of your senses are extremely beneficial for your memory. So don't forget that. See, see what I did there? Here's another even more amusing game to improve your memory. When you are sitting in your sofa with your girlfriend, boyfriend or alone, put the TV on mute, silent mode, and then start inventing conversations that could be going on in the scene. By inventing the conversations, you are again doing something new and challenging for your brain. Here's another exercise that will stimulate new regions in your brain, and it is trying to write with your non-dominant hand. Yes, this is really healthy to do, and if you don't let yourself become frustrated, it will boost your brain power. So why not make a habit out of always writing your shopping list with your non-dominant hand? Also, when you go to your grocery store, or whatever destination that you often go to, change the route. Use some other roads instead of the ones you normally take to get there. This is also healthy for your brain, again, because it forces your brain to get kicked out of familiarity and autopilot mode. The last one is super powerful and it's also healthy for your body. Try to go through a whole dinner with your eyes closed. This will make you use all of your senses. Smell the food. Feel the fork and knife in your hands. It will force you to be aware of your hand and brain coordination when you get the fork to your mouth. It will make you feel the cold water in your mouth when you are drinking and, of course, taste the food with more mindfulness. Okay, that's it for today. And if you want more videos with tools and tips and tricks, then consider subscribing. And also, please leave a comment in the comment section below to let me know what kind of subjects you would like me to make videos on in the future. Something that you would like my take on as a middle-aged man <laughs> with a pretty realistic view on the world. Alright, that's it. This is Scandinavian Bob signing out. Keep going and stay strong.